back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me again so today uh, i have this uh, ceramic plate to alter so uh, i'm going to work on this ceramic uh, plate using mix mirror technique and uh, i am going to add this uh, starfish as my focal point so i just love the way this starfish has you know it's very big in size but thing is it's not a flat uh, you know so i have to create a I have to make this uh, flat using clay so that's what I'm going to do but before that I'm going to add a um, uh, tissue paper on it so uh, you know uh, we will have nice texture on it as well as uh, the whatever medium we are going to add, I mean whatever embellishment we are going to stick on this will uh, you know uh, the tissue paper will uh, the tissue paper texture will help us to uh, adhere those uh, embellishments on it okay so uh, before starting I'll just clean this plate and add some tissue paper layer okay so i have uh, bring this tissue paper with me and i'm going to add a mod podge to glue this tissue paper on this okay so what i'm going to do i'm adding mod podge glue directly on the plate So I will let this dry and meanwhile I will add uh, clay uh, behind this. So as you can see here uh, it's a hollow space so it's really hard for us to you know stick down these uh, starfish onto the plate. So I'm going to add a clay mixture and for clay I am taking Fabricryl molded epoxy clay so just in case if you don't have epoxy clay you can uh, use any you know any kind of a clay that you have with you and uh, in epoxy clay you have to uh, you know there are there are two parts so you have to take equal portion of these two parts together and then you have to knead it Okay, so now with the help of the glue, I'm going to uh, add this clay.
have a uh, prepare my starfish so i have uh, fixed all the hollow portions and now i will stick this uh, starfish in the middle of this plate so for that i am using heavy gel medium heavy gel medium so always remember to use heavy gel medium because they hold your embellishment properly okay so i am adding good amount of heavy gel medium here As you can see, it's covered nicely. Okay, so here I have pasted this uh, starfish onto uh, this plate, as you can see here. So now, uh, just to you know, hide this uh, portion, the clay part and everything, I'm going to add um, these stones that I have with me. So I have different uh, shapes of these, uh, not uh, different sizes of these uh, stones. So I'm going to add them. So I'm not going to add much uh, of the uh, elements because I want the, you know, starfish uh, should be hero of this mixed media project. So, yeah. So now, uh, first I'm going to take this stone enough amount the uh, enough amount of these stones. Oops they are already stuck i don't know why anyways and i am going to add uh, this mod podge i have another mod podge as well with me so i am going to add the mod podge uh, glue into this okay so that way uh, we will have nice you know clustery look of this Okay, so that way uh, we will have nice uh, clustery look of these stones. As you can see, the glue have nicely coated on these stones. So this way, it's really easier to uh, stick them. So now I'm going to add these stones. And now I am uh, taking the another uh, size of this. So I am going to uh, mix uh, these two sizes. So this is the medium and this is the mini stones. So I am going to mix these two sizes together. And okay. And some decoupage glue. So basically I'm using decoupage glue because it's uh, flowy in consistency so that's the reason but you can also use any PVA glue and add a little bit of water into it just to dilute its consistency.
for more texture i'm going to add some uh, texture paste this is the uh, stone texture paste so this is the stone texture paste from a uh, little birdie so i'm going to add that just for you know extra texture this plate is dried uh, now completely and it took me around uh, 12 to i guess 13 hours to you know dry this paste and this uh, mold it and everything to dry completely and now it's time to prime the surface of uh, prime the project so for that i am using black gesso So I will be covering entire plate using a uh, black gesso first. So that way it will look everything you know all together. So as I always say priming is very important part in mixed media. Because we add lot of you know other embellishments and different kind of embellishment in our project. So that's the reason priming is very important.
so now my uh, plate is also dry the layer of black jesu is dry and uh, uh, next i will add these chalk paints using dry brush technique so this is how it looks this looks absolutely stunning and once we started adding this color it will be uh, it will look more amazing so what i'm thinking i will uh, add um, kind of natural shade uh, to the starfish so, so this is the natural starfish that i have with me so i'm going to add uh, this color because this is uh, very similar to this uh, starfish so yeah i'm going to add that color okay <clears throat> so i'll just take out some color first okay and then uh, for the uh, rest part uh, i'm i'm going to add uh, the shades from the blue family so Okay, so uh, I will be needing a little bit of this brownish shade as well. So using same brush, I'm going to apply a little bit of brownish here and there. washing my brush I'm just wiping it down using rough cloth and using same brush I will go back to the another color so like this two colors because it's giving very nice uh, sea green color here
I will add little bit of metallics to uh, finish the uh, look of this. So uh, I'm using gold metallic here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. I will be back with another project soon. And till then bye bye take care and happy creating. Also if you are new to my channel then uh, do subscribe and do join me on my Instagram and Facebook. So over there I uh, mostly uh, take uh, live workshops or live session. So if you are interested in learning simple uh, you know uh, mixed media in simple and easy way then do join me on my instagram and facebook so i would be back with another project till then bye bye take care and happy crafting bye